One thing I did want to bring up related to China and data collection is this data colonialism that we're starting to see. So you have reports of Chinese companies going to African nations, providing uh, uh, facial recognition or surveillance technologies in exchange for something very precious, the biometric data of the citizens. So now, parallel to what we had with the slave trade, right, where you're extracting bodies, now you're extracting digital bodies in service of a global trade. Because even when you talk about what's going on in London, they're using technology from a company called NEC that's based in Japan. And so you have to really think about the global context for how these technologies spread around the world. And, and just to add to that, China has unfettered access to data. It has now been mandated that if you want to access the internet in China, you must submit to facial recognition. So um, that has that that is the basis for which they're building this kind of scoring system. I got access uh, through local production company in China, and I feel that this woman kind of gave us insight into this social credit system that is coming up in China. It, uh, to sort of where they're using facial recognition in tandem with a social credit system. So if you uh, basically, they're tracking you, they're watching you, they're surveilling you, and they're scoring you. And not only what you do impacts your score, but what your friends do impact your score. And this young woman who I, um, who is featured in the film, says that you know, in fact, we don't have to trust our own senses anymore, that we can rely on this sort of social credit score to actually have integrity in who we trust and who we don't trust. And I think in the film, you know, we sort of want to think, oh, that, that's sort of a galaxy far, far away from the U.S. But um, in the making of this film, I saw all <coughs> kinds of parallels of, of that type of scoring that's happening here in the U.S. and in other places around the world. Can you explain what, how, how you see that it's comparable or could be? Well, as, as Amy Webb says so poignantly in, in the film, we're all being scored all the time. From our Uber scores to our Facebook likes, all of that information is being tracked and analyzed all of the time. And so we're all being rated all of the time. And so though that kind of tracking can impact how much we pay for insurance, um, what kind of opportunities are shown to us online. And so very much it becomes sort of an algorithmic algorithmic determinism.